Chance, you ready? Ready. You ready? Good. Hold on to your butts. Okay, I've got a treat for you today. We are going to be testing the strength of the Titan safety straps. We've gotten a lot of questions. I've been deadlifting on them while actually doing pin pulls. And people are saying you're not strong enough to really test it. So we're gonna drop weight from shoulder height, actually a little bit above shoulder height. We're gonna drop 380 kilograms, I think it is. So a little bit over 800 pounds on the straps from shoulder height. The pins are gonna be set below what you normally use, so this is really gonna be a test. They say, Titan says that their straps can hold about 3,100 pounds per strap, so that means the total system's about 6,200 pounds. So that's static rating. Um, we'll see how much they can hold through a dynamic load. Uh, I'm thinking that they're gonna be able to hold it. We'll see, uh, but without further, any further ado, let's do it. So really quickly, just because I only want to do this one time and I don't want to hear like, you should have done it differently or something like that. These straps are the straps you buy from Titan Fitness. There's nothing, you know, extraordinary about them from what you can buy online. They're exact same ones that you can buy, the exact same ones that were sent with the recall. Um, they have a nice wear strip on top and then they're stitched throughout. You know, they've got chain stitching, protective stitching all the way through. Um, they're bolted, so this is exactly how Titan would recommend them to be used. They're also used on a beefier, well, a Made in USA version of what Titan sells for their T3, which these are designed for. Um, this actually has welded panels, so in reality, it should be stronger. So this is really, when they're saying it can handle 6,200 pounds of the system, this is the system as it should be able to handle it. By the way, before we drop this, have you considered subscribing yet? If you haven't done so, you need to do so. If you like training, if you like equipment and other shenanigans, hit the subscribe button. Let's do it. All right, clip of choice, Pro Lock One. Although they're not my favorite clips, they hold the bar or they hold the weight on really well. Okay, 370 kilograms on the bar. It's currently rested on band pegs. Surprising how much weight they can hold. I wouldn't be surprised if they bent a little as we rolled it forward. The bar is definitely bending quite a bit. It's crazy to me that some people can actually squat this. It's insane. But we're gonna do this one time. I'm gonna stand behind it. I'm gonna roll it off. Try to make sure that it's as even as possible so it hits the um, the uh, straps at the same time and we'll see what happens. I've got multiple cameras going. Let's find out. Chance, you ready? Ready. You ready? Good. Hold on to your butts. There you have it, folks. 370 kilograms. How much is that in pounds? Uh, like 800. Close to 800 pounds. A little over. Here. Drop from a height that is probably much higher than most people will be squatting to a depth that's much lower than most people will have their uh, straps, and it survived. 
Let's see the damage. Well, as you can see, it tore through the wear layer, but that's just a wear strip. That doesn't really do much. Dang. Better than you expected? Better than I expected. Better than I expected. Titan, man, a hundred, those are like a hundred bucks. I'll put a link in the bio if you want to get them, if you have a rack. They've gone for multiple rack sizes. I was not expecting them to do that well. <laughs> Good job, Titan. To the rest of you, you can now squat safely. All right, so really we were wanting a, like a budget-friendly buffalo bar, so that's one reason we decided to do this. <laughs> this is like perfectly bent. Oh my gosh. He uh, conformed pretty evenly. This would actually be a better Buffalo bar than the one Titan sells, I think. Um, but uh, this, to be honest, I'm surprised this didn't bend it more than it did. They rate this at 190, 200, 210, but the factories they get this steel from, I would not be surprised if they lie to them on what they actually give them in steel, because it's not, there's not a lot of ways that you can tell once you get it back um, from the factory. Uh, so, not bad, not bad. But now I have an extra barbell that is bent so I can use it for squats and things like that. But just to get closer, the wear strip wore apart. The stitching between them is starting to come undone now. So if something like that happened, you'd probably want to buy a new set. But they're cheap enough where it wouldn't really matter. Same thing with this one. Wear strip wore off. Stitching starting to come undone. The actual metal pieces go in and out. That one's a little tight, but not too tight. They're like, they're, no, they're normal. <laughs> oh, I cannot believe those lasted that well. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. We'll see you next time. Peace. You ready? Good. Hold on to your butts.